Yo, I'm not gonna lie, the fact that Zion is a lefty makes him even more nasty. Zion is literally 15 pounds away from being the best player in the NBA. I, Zion, I don't know if you realize that, I don't know if you watch my videos still, but you're literally, you're 15 pounds away from being the best player in the NBA. It's pretty nuts. Anyways, I'm on a 10 day streak. I never been on a 10 day streak before in my life. So let's put all 10 days up on the screen right now. Y'all can go back and watch the videos if you want, if you don't believe me. Uh, I posted something on in my Instagram story yesterday. It's smacked. You can go check the receipts. All the receipts are on Twitter. Listen, I don't have any reason to cap. I'm on a 10 day streak. Like I said, at this point it's too easy. At this point I'm just trying to hit two. You know, cause I'm placing four groups of twos and I can hit one of those every time. That's too easy. I'm in the lab. That's light work. So I'm, ah, ah. You know what I'm saying? That's like me from deep. Ah. I'm going to make one out of four. That's light. It's just a matter of can I get two out of four. Because when we get two out of four, then we get into those profit days. So anyways, I feel really good. How you guys feeling? Y'all feeling pretty good? I feel really good. Actually, honestly, I'm not feeling really good. I'm pissed off because I missed, I missed Saturday, man. Because I got too lit. I got too lit. Uh, I bought some champagne to record that, 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 that new future. And then I drank with my homies later that night. And I got too lit. And I couldn't edit anything. I wanted to drop that Laker video on Saturday for y'all. But I couldn't, I, just, I couldn't do it. I was throwing up till 2.30 2 in the afternoon. No BS. Like, it was, it was wild. Um, so we're going to watch both Laker games today. That's all we're going to watch. We're just going to watch these two Laker games. Two short versions. Nothing crazy. We're just here to talk about the Lakers. Yeah, nobody really cares about Zion. This shit only has 37,000 views. So I'm not going to put it in my... I'm not going to put it in my video. But I watched it. Anyway, he, here is today's winner. I have been picking a winner every single day. For the last... Since we started. Even if I don't put it in every video or like, for example, that day when I didn't do the Laker video on Saturday, I didn't drop a video that day or Sunday, whatever day that was, that I didn't drop a video. I don't know. My days are messed up. Yeah, I didn't drop a video on Saturday. Yeah, I still picked someone on Saturday and I still, we still put it in their account. So I just want to, just for clarity, we've, I've been, picked someone every single day, $100 underdog uh, credit winner, and we're going to continue to do that. Um, so... It's not too late to take advantage of that. Uh, I had a great time. Those are the most exciting college basketball games I've ever been to in my life. I've never been to a North Carolina game, let alone a North Carolina game in North Carolina. I've never experienced anything like that. So I'm looking forward to the games in LA next week. And then after that, we got the games in Phoenix where I'm gonna be taking y'all there with me. So that's gonna be electric. I'm rooting for UConn all the way. If y'all know me, y'all know I'm a UConn fan. It's the last thing I'll say that we can happen to the Lakers. In fact, UConn is the only team I'm a fan of. I always tell people I'm a fan of players, not teams. That's the truth. I'm a Rodgers fan. I'm a LeBron fan. I'm not a fan of teams. I'm a fan of players. So I'm an intermediate Jets fan. I'm an intermediate Lakers fan, right? Um, but the UConn Huskies is, a, is the only team I'm actually a fan of. Because when I was a little kid, I told this story a million times. I'm going to tell it one more time. I got my old war stories. Goddamn, I'm old as hell. But when I was a kid, I used to go to the UConn basketball camp during the summer, man. It was super expensive. My parents could only afford to send me like two, three years. I went like twice, maybe. But it was a great time, man. You, it was during the summer on the campus. You would stay in the dorms. They give you all the food. It was super. The craziest competition. That was one of my best childhood memories. I swear to God. So because of that, I'm a UConn Husky fan for life, nigga. I'm UConn Husky for life, boy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Final score for this game was 150 to 145. What the hell? Did that? That was disgusting. He dunked both of them niggas. I seen a good majority of this game. I almost hit twice. LeBron let me down. He threw a couple bad passes. Shit have smacked twice. It is what it is. But yeah, Toy and Prince had a great game. No D'Lo. We had to play Dim Winnie. I was super scared about that because we're 0-5 when D'Lo doesn't play. This is our first win when D'Lo doesn't play. So shout out to the Lakers for pulling that out. Yeah, he Siakam was mad because LeBron was getting the calls. 
Anyone get no calls? There go James Goldstein in his polka dot suit. And he gets so many rebounds, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Nobody on our team even grabs rebounds other than AD. We set AD up perfectly to just kill the rebound stance. <laughs> Good pass, AR. Four rebounds. James. Bounce again with Pretty hot. LeBron really do be setting him up for the assist. That's why I love watching LeBron. Like, he really plays to get assists. I don't think there's any other player that really plays to get assists like him. Like, he's so, the way he sets his team up is fine. He's fine. I love that man. <laughs> Easy. 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 Toss it up. Toss him up. Tazima, McDonald's too small. McConnell, whatever his name is, is too small. Little boy. McDermott. I don't think that was the same guy, though. And it wouldn't be the Lakers if we didn't let him get in it at the end of the game. <laughs> We wouldn't be LA if we didn't give him a chance to win at the end. <laughs> we gotta give him a chance. We just like the Cowboys. Come on, man. You know we gotta give him a chance. <laughs> First, I want to see the Lakers' remaining schedule. We only have what? Did we say like three home games left? I really want to go to this Warriors game. Um, so hopefully I can make that happen for y'all. Oh yeah, we only got three home games left. Pelicans are looking really good right now. That's not the best team to end on. Grizzlies, hopefully we can win that. The Warriors are down there about to get bounced out by the Rockets. Timberwolves is rough. Cavs is rough. Wizards are the worst team ever. Nets are pretty bad. Pacers again. Bucks. All right, all right. Our schedule's not too hard. It's not too bad. I would say we can win... Wishful thinking we can win two of these. Maybe these two, right? Maybe three, right? Four, right? Five, right? Six, right? We can win at least six of these. How many left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven left. Yeah, we can. Yeah, I mean, we need more than six. <laughs> huh? We, not, we might not need more than six. We done pushed it on the Warriors, so that's lit. We can push it on them. We can hit the turbo on them real quick. Yeah, we got to catch one of these guys. We got to catch one of these guys. We don't want the Nuggets. We got to somehow get to seventh. We got to somehow get to seventh, Laker gang. I'm not sure how, but we got to get to seventh. I want the Thunder. Give me the Thunder. We get the Thunder, we're winning. I can say that right now. I can say that with confidence. I can say that without even being worried about jinxing it. You give us the Thunder first round, it's a wrap. <laughs> we send the shade to the crib. I can guarantee that. I can guarantee those. All right, let's get into the other game and then we'll get out of here. But yeah, we need we 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 need to get to the seven somehow. So what does that mean? We have to win the the in season tournament? I don't even know how that works. I don't even fully get it. I don't know. But we gotta get to seven. That's all I know. We gotta get to seven. Period. We gotta just keep winning. We gotta just keep winning. We need AD angry, just like that. We need him aggressive. We need all that. D'Lo. Bang. We, we definitely need D'Lo. We for sure need D'Lo. We need 20 a game out of D'Lo, no cap. <laughs> D'Lo said in my mind, Jackson A's pass it to me. <laughs> wouldn't be the Lakers if it wasn't close. Uh, we can beat anybody, but we can also let anybody beat us. <laughs> We are bipolar as hell. Some true LA shit going on. True LA vibes. We don't know how we've been waking up in the morning. We might be happy, we might be sad, we might be bad, we don't know. We're all over the place. Thank you, though. I'm dead. Eddie Bang. Eddie Bang. Eddie Bang. 
LeBron bang. Oh, we almost lost this. Jump. Decent shape right now, up six with the basketball. LeBron uh, straight away three. Yep. Yeah. Takes the play. Six feet in the bucket right here. Maxie's good. Oh. That's big. That's big. That's big. On the shot clock. That's good. Dan Sunday and Gonzini. Oh, who's going to stop Lowry? That's big. Give him another one. Clutch at the end. Yeah, buddy, you're supposed to be on our team, man. You're supposed to be on our team. But anyways, yeah, so we need more than six. We got 11 games left. We need like seven. I don't know. It might not even matter. All that matters is that we get to the seventh seed. That's all that matters. That's what we're playing for. That's the best we can hope for. If we can somehow beat the Thunder first round, we would probably still get the Nuggets second round, right? Yeah, so I mean, ultimately, it's over for us. <laughs> but if we can prolong playing the Nuggets, I think somehow that plays to our advantage. I'm not quite sure how. I couldn't explain it to y'all, but... <laughs> Give us a second like round. <laughs> but the, the further we can play, the Nuggets, the better. Anyways, that's going to do it, man. Leave all your comments below. Leave all your likes. Um, go join the gang on Patreon. I'm dropping uh, the the future over there where I got lit and did all the champagne jumping all over the place. So be sure to go check that out. It's lit. If you can, go use my uh, my promo code, man, $100 match the positive. And then you're entered in a hundred dollar underdog credit giveaway that we're doing every single day um, for the next few weeks. Um, and then yeah, I'm gonna come in here sometime next week, probably on the second of April, and pick two winners who hopefully decide to come to the Final Four game with me. Hopefully, it's you, Kai. That would be lit. Honestly, I was starting to think about it. It's like, low-key, the Final Four is going to be litter than the championship because you get to see both games. Anyways, it's going to be a vibe. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you all too. I'll be back tomorrow with another video. We're going to keep the good times rolling. LeBron podcast come out tomorrow. We'll be doing that on Patreon as well. But anyways, till next time, it's been your boy, Mario again, again. My favorite part of that LeBron podcast from the first episode is he said, to be great, you have to sacrifice loved ones. And JJ Reddick said, I always felt like my grind was so selfish. And he always used to apologize to his family for that. And I'm just listening to that like, damn. I need to get more selfish. <laughs>